Hello everyone and welcome to another story time with the Taylor Public Library. This week our theme is flowers and if you stick around at the end I'll show you how to make our flower craft. Very cute. Okay, let's get started with our opening finger play, wiggles. I wiggle my fingers, I wiggle my toes, I wiggle my shoulders, I wiggle my nose. And now the wiggles are out of me and I'm just as still as I can be. Okay, now that we're nice and still, Here's our story for the day, Planting a Rainbow by Lois Ehlert. Every year, Mom and I plant a rainbow. In the fall, we buy some bulbs and plant them in the ground. Orange tiger lily, red tulip bulb, orange tulip bulb, yellow daffodil bulb, blue hyacinth bulb, purple crocus corm, purple bearded iris rhizome. Those are all the different kind of bulbs that they plant. We order seeds from catalogs and wait all winter long. Phlox, morning glory, zinnia, aster, cornflower, marigold, and daisy. Those are all the different kind of flower seeds that they order from the catalogs. They come in little envelopes like that. Wait all winter long for spring to warm the soil and sprout the bulbs. And that's what they look like when they sprout. And then you can see underground where the bulbs are. These are the bulbs. Then it's time to go to the garden center to select some seedlings. And at the garden center, you fill up a wagon with little seedlings just like that. We sow the seeds and set out the plants in soil and watch the rainbow grow and grow and grow. Look how beautiful it's starting to look. We have some red flowers like tulips and carnations and a rose and orange flowers like tulip and zinnia and poppy and tiger lily and some yellow blooms like daisy and marigold and daffodils we grow something green like ferns and some blue flowers like morning glories, delphinium, hyacinth, and cornflowers. And some purple flowers too like crocus, phlox, iris, violets, asters, and pansies. And all summer long we pick them and bring them home and make a beautiful bouquet just like this one. And when summer is over, we know we can grow our rainbow again next year. The end. What a beautiful story. Have you ever grown a garden? Maybe you can try it this year. Now, I have a finger play about flowers. So I'm gonna do it twice. So the first time you can just watch and the second time you can do it with me. Flowers tall and flowers small, count them one by one. Blowing in the breezes in the springtime sun. One, two, three, four, five. There it was. Now this time do it with me. Flowers tall and flowers small, count them one by one. Blowing in the breezes in the springtime sun. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's go ahead and finish up with our closing finger play, Tickle the Clouds. Tickle the clouds, tickle your toes. Turn around and touch your nose. Crouch down low, reach up high. Story time's over, wave goodbye. Goodbye. Now, don't go yet, because I gotta tell you how to do your beautiful flower craft, just like this one. So what you're gonna do is the first step, you're gonna take your long green pipe cleaner Hold it like this and then get these fingers and make a loop and twist it. I'm going to twist it twice so it's nice and secure. And then you've got your leaf. All right. So then you want to take your flower shape that I have cut out for you and take a piece of tape just like this one and tape it onto the back just like that. Then all you have to do is take some glue. I used regular white school glue, but it does take a while to dry. So if you wanted, you could use hot glue with the help of an adult. So just apply some to the center of your flower, just like that. 
And then take your pom-pom and then stick it on there. Like I said, it takes a little while to dry, so be careful with it at first. And then you've got a beautiful flower, just like the other one. All right, don't forget you can pick up your craft at the library today and while supplies last. And have a wonderful week.